Selecting objects is easy. Simply click on an object to select it. The cursor will appear as an arrow when in selection mode. If not, click the selection tool. Once an item is selected, the prompts above will show that you can press the shift key to toggle between selected and deselected so you can extend the selection set. While in selection mode, press the mouse button and drag from left to right to create something called a pick window. This selection window will select everything totally inside the boundaries of the window when opened from left to right. When dragging from right to left, it will select objects that are at least partially inside the window. And just click outside the selection to deselect everything. Right click to display a menu of options. To access a menu with select all and deselect as well as selecting by entity type. You can also double click on the selection tool but remember you won't necessarily see everything that's in the drawing. If you select all and delete, you may delete things outside your current view. We'll select and delete, and then we'll select something else and delete it. Undo is available. Notice that when you choose undo, it brings things back or undoes the actions in reverse order, the last one first. If I select both and delete them, only one undo is required to bring them both back. Now go to the user view called Trim Corner. Trimming allows you to take objects that intersect and edit them using one as a reference against the other. In the Trim Corner option, we're taking two objects that either intersect or could intersect. By choosing them, you're picking the portions on the side of the intersection that you wish to keep. Notice, I'll click the arc and this line. The arc is trimmed all the way back to form a corner with that line. On the other case, the trim case, this creates a reference edge that we'll trim to. Notice the prompt says to select the portion in this case that we wish to delete rather than the part that we wish to keep. When selecting the arc to the right, it says that it will delete the whole object because it's trying to trim it to the line that we already have selected back over on the other side of the drawing. By pressing the shift key, you can extend the boundary edge that we're trimming to. And now I'll click the arc and it deletes away the portion of that intersecting arc to where it trims. In this case, we've extended to the arc just click the items you wish to trim to that edge. From our view menu, let's pull up the user view called Break Trim. The next trimming tool, called Segment to Curve, allows you to select a reference edge or curve and then trim to it. The trimming operation in this case will select the circle and then choose this segment to curve tool. When I select the arc, the arc will be broken where it intersects with our selected circle. In the case of the lines, we'll select the horizontal line, choose the tool, and collect the two intersecting lines and they're both broken where they intersect with the first edge selected. And now from the view menu, select the user view called Region Trim. This is an amazing tool that will trim based on an entire enclosed boundary. The Region Trim trims by boundary. So we'll click here inside it looks for the closest enclosed boundary and trims all of the corners found on that boundary. We'll undo. We'll click outside and now it will find both of those enclosed boundaries and trim them both. Undo. Click inside the large boundary to the right 
it finds both the outer and inner, and we'll undo and then just trim inside of this smaller boundary, and that will be the only boundary that it finds and trims.